I bet you're all wondering what my story is. And I am too. So I'm going to get four of my friends up here to tell you my story. In the game of Story, Story, Die. We have Marshall, we have Parker, we have Matt, and we have Bailey. And how this game works is that one of these four people will be out in front telling you the story. And at any time, I as the caller can call a different person who is on the stage or a different person who is off the stage. If that person is on the stage, they must come up to the front and resume the story right where the other person left off. If they repeat three or more words from the sentence of the previous person, they are killed by a suggestion of you guys. Other ways that a storyteller may die, if I call them up and they don't come up, or if I call someone else up and they don't leave, or if I call the name of someone that isn't on stage or is no longer alive, and they go back, basically, I get to decide their fates. Now, can I get an adjective from you guys? Bread. Oh, hungry. Banana. Hungry. Okay. I need a noun. Purple. Dragon. All right, all right. These guys will be telling you the story of the banana pasta incident. <laughs> Matt, if you would begin. It was a dark and stormy night on July 13, 1999. I was going about my days in a summery, balmy sort of day, and uh, enjoying my carefree attitude, whistling, if you will. And then, suddenly, I was walking through the kitchen, and I looked onto the counter, and I noticed a bowl. What kind of bowl? A fruit bowl. What kind of fruit in that bowl? Marshall, we do not know. <laughs> We're really bad at identifying fruit. <laughs> However, I can tell you with certainty that there was one thing in that fruit bowl that should never be within a fruit bowl, and that was spaghetti. Twenty-five pounds of spaghetti in a fruit bowl, interlaced with all of the fruits. And I thought to myself, Parker! I Let's get weird. <laughs> <laughs> I have said things that I don't know how to identify. However, I do know colors and they were yellow. <laughs> and I threw them in the spaghetti bowl. And what happened next just changed me as a person forever. You see, Bailey! I started mashing together these random fruits with the noodles and concocted the most amazing thing I have ever consumed in my life, and I call it banana spaghetti. Now, I didn't know what the fruit was, but I, I'm calling it banana spaghetti for the, sake of, for the sake of the name, you know. So I called my friends over because I created the most amazing thing in the world, you know. And I call up Stacy, and I go, Stace, girl, you gotta try this banana spaghetti. <laughs> And Stacy is like, Marshall! What? <laughs> <laughs> what? What did you just say to me? Banana spaghetti? Are you a, are you a madman? And Stacy hung up on me. That was the greatest mistake of her life. Man. Because I was going to make so much money. I began, I began looking at the bowl, at the contents, spaghetti, fruits I could not identify. And then I began writing it down, all down with paper and pencil. I then began to wonder, how am I going to change the world? This. So, Bailey. I go on to Ed's. As one does. <laughs> Delicious, warm, full of interesting fruit that I cannot disclose. And then I met God. <laughs> I am the prophet of God! Man. Yes. And the 
deeds shall hear upon me. Bailey! Everyone was bowing down to me in my glory of this banana pasta. They were kissing at my shoes and they were crying for me. Parker, those who opposed me felt the death by large red circles and marinara sauce. <laughs> Yes, that's me, Matt! And I began my crusade of what? I trust the ocean! Marshall! I went to the capital of pasta! Bailey! Italy! <laughs> Child. Matt! Wait, Parker! I was 
I was a boy and not yet a man. Marshal! But I was determined to Bailey. become... Bailey! Up with a plan. Bailey! To create some Hunter. pasta. But I wasn't too sure yet because I was just a boy. And you Matt. know... I Matt. couldn't walk hard. Right. So... Oh, no. Oh. no.